beauty of the diaspora, the beauty of the people, the expression of the people is never more brilliant than when we get a chance to see ourselves in the color and the coloration and the pageantry <coughs> of the parade. We need to have a way where that has a footprint in the development of young minds of what have been made the last and certainly not least, if there, is, there is a need for us to start spending some time looking forward at how do we avoid recolonization? Mm. Now, I know the last time people saw me stand up at a meeting mm -hmm. and I gave anything near a speech, about six months later I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying not to get fired. <laughs> I swear to you, I did not want to go look for another job. <laughs> but it's important that Medgar Evers have a, a serious place in the conversation about how communities come together in Central Park. And that we do not do that with an eye toward them that have and them that do not have. We don't want to tailor two cities <coughs> in Brooklyn. We don't want places that have opportunities and that don't have opportunities, have jobs and don't have jobs, have schools that are open and have schools that are closed. What we want is we want an opportunity for all of our young people to see that there are a set of stair steps. They are educational stair steps, but that they are hard working stair steps that people have climbed on their behalf such that they now get an opportunity to climb them. And they can climb them toward the careers of the 21st century. That is what, that is what brings me here to Cat. You are honored tonight because you are building those steps. And so many will walk in your footprints because you are doing this. And it's hard work, laborious work, sometimes thankless work, but it is the work of the angels and you have been pointed here by God to do this work. Amen. Thank you very much for doing it.